everyone, welcome back for another video. Today I am in Alverton, Ohio for their annual plow day. Let's go see what's going on. Alverton, Ohio is located in the northwest corner of the Buckeye State and not too awful far from the Michigan State line. Alverton, Ohio is a pretty small village located up here. Has a population of a little over 200 people, but this town has had an operating post office since 1881. Although it's a pretty small town, they have a pretty big or pretty awesome plow day. The last time I was up here at their plow day was in the year of 2019, but they do get some pretty big tractors here, and it's just a good time. Of course, you put on an event like this, it's all dependent on the weather. So this was scheduled to be on Saturday, July 29th. Thursday before they had the plow day here, they got two and a half inches of rain. And then the morning right before the plow day, they got another inch and a half. So things were pretty wet. They went ahead and still had the chicken dinner on a Saturday and was hoping things were dried out. Things were postponed until Sunday at 1 p.m. Now, if you watch this video, you're going to see things were a little bit on the wet side. But everything was a go. These tractors were able to get out here. A lot of people joined in. And we had a pretty good day of plowing in the field. Now, there was a few wet spots. You're going to see some spots where... Guys were spinning, they even had to pick up the plows and move on. But overall, they were able to have the event, and again, it was just a great time. I did not get a ton of drone footage at this event. As you can see, there's other drones flying around here, and I just did not want anything to happen to mine making contact with another drone. So I did get some drone footage of the big tractors here plowing, but I think I pretty much got every machine that was here covered on the ground. So it's not going to be a super long video but it's gonna be a pretty good plowing video. And plowing videos generally do pretty good on my YouTube channel. First up in the Big Bud lineup here at the Plow Day is a Big Bud 650-50 that belongs to a local farmer here along with this 21 bottom DMI plow. Now this plow was built by DMI I think back in 1978 and originally sold to a farm in North Dakota and years ago ended up in Ohio and has made an appearance on my YouTube channel before. Second in the lineup is this Big Bud 525-50 pulling a Wilrich 18 bottom plow. Now, I did video this tractor as well back when I was here in 2019. This tractor does look pretty impressive with these triples on it. A day or two before the plow day, Heritage Iron Magazine was here and does have a video clip on their Facebook page of this tractor going down the road with the triples. I know the first two big buds I'm talking about here do belong to local farmers, and I believe the four you're going to see in this video all reside pretty close to this area. At one time, there was a big bud dealer in Upper Sandusky, Ohio, so Ohio does have a couple big buds that I know of. And third in the lineup, here is another big bud 525-50 tractor. This is pulling a 16 bottom moldboard plow. This tractor was not here in 2019. As far as I know, this may be this tractor's first year here in Alverton. And after we watch this tractor and plow go by, coming up next in the lineup is the fourth Big Bud tractor, which is a Big Bud 450 pulling an international nine bottom moldboard plow, coming up right about now. There you go. Big Bud tractors were all manufactured in Haver, Montana. And then right behind these four big buds, the next tractor in the lineup is a 750 Wright tractor owned by Randall Brothers out of Holgate, Ohio. The tractor goes by Earthquake. And this tractor has made several appearances out at the Half Century of Progress show in Rantoul, Illinois, which is every other year and will be the last week of August coming up this summer. This tractor here really screams. I'm going to have some on the ground footage so you're going to get to hear this thing running in an action. The five tractors I just mentioned, if my calculations are correct, we got a 21 bottom, we have an 18 bottom, a 16 bottom, an 11 bottom, and a 9 bottom in this lineup right here. So every time these guys go up the field, 75 bottoms plowing the field. So 150 bottoms per round. They actually knocked this out pretty quick. So before there's a mid-air collision with another drone, and I think I counted about six of them flying around here, I'm going to land it, and we're going to get some on-the-ground footage, and we're going to listen to these tractors work. No doubt these big tractors and plows are impressive to watch, but there was a lot of smaller stuff here too. 
I think I got footage of about everything here on the ground, so here we go.
Now here's something you don't see every day. Two tractors plowing and one just passes the other one.
There's a fellow out of Michigan by the name of Don Campbell that custom builds some toys, and he built this Big Bud tractor and this DMI plow here. So I'm just going to walk around it with my camera here and check it out. But it does look pretty cool, and I have to imagine this was pretty time-consuming. This is a pretty detailed project here. Don and I have messaged back and forth a few times. He was not here when I was here, so I did not get to meet him. But one of these days, I'll catch up with him. But he does have a YouTube channel, and he shows off some of this stuff that he's built. So, again, like I said, pretty detailed project here. Pretty neat to look at. Look at the inside of the cab. I mean, everything's pretty detailed. I have to say I'm pretty impressed. That's going to wrap up the video of this awesome day of plowing here in Alberton, Ohio. And if you haven't already, please go down there and hit that like button. Feel free to comment below. If you're new to my YouTube channel, I would really appreciate it if you go down there and hit subscribe. Also, if you want to see more of what I'm doing picture-wise, what I'm out in the field with, you can follow me along on Instagram, Facebook, and TikTok at Farmhand Mike. As always, thank you for watching and supporting my social media. And check back often. There's always lots of new and exciting content coming to my YouTube channel.